Oh, what's that? The Bears paid Montez Sweat? Oh, but I was told that he didn't want to be here and that Ryan Poles was a terrible GM and that he was going to walk in free agency and we're going to all look really stupid for trading for him and that... It is, I, <laughs> I hate Bears fans sometimes. The Bears agreed to a massive contract extension with Montez Sweat, keeping him in Chicago for the next four and a half seasons, which is pretty nice. So, you know, yeah, and yeah... I, yeah, Bears fans on both sides of the coin here. You got him saying, we have one side that is saying, oh, of course he signed a contract extension. Obviously, Poles wouldn't trade for him if he didn't plan on signing him to a contract extension. I don't think we should give them that benefit of the doubt after the Chase Claypool trade. This is the Bears we're talking about. They do some boneheaded stuff sometimes. Now, I will say that... Um, People were overreacting maybe a little bit too much, saying, oh, we overpaid, oh, we, we, um, Montez just fleeced us for a hundred million dollars. That's not the case. I, that contract is extremely fair. I think that is precisely what he is worth, um, especially considering how this edge market is going to go. Once Micah Parsons and Aiden Hutchinson get paid, like this market is just going to keep going that way. So I think, you know, giving him a four-year, $90 million deal, that's about $24, 25000000 million a year, I'd say that works. I'd uh, it, it just about tracks for what he's worth as a pass rusher, his consistency, his injury history, and all that. I Great deal. And now I can rest comfortably that this trade was a good idea. Obviously, he hasn't played for the Bears yet. Still have to see how he actually does, but I'm pretty excited for the fact that they got this trade done. And then within a few days, they got the extension done. And we don't got to worry about it. Because I was kind of worried that we were going to go into the offseason. He hadn't signed a deal. He didn't like. He, he wasn't going to like being in Chicago. He was going to get tagged. And then Jalen Johnson would walk in free agency. And the whole thing would be a disaster. But instead, we trade for him. We tag him. Um, we or Sorry, we trade for him. And then we pay him. We pay him a very, very good deal for what he's worth. And um, now we can use the franchise tag on Jalen Johnson, which is what all signs point to that being. And the main issue people seem to have is that Jalen Johnson's feelings are going to be hurt now because we paid Montez before he paid him. I, I think that that issue is a bit over. Oops, I just moved the camera. I think that issue is a bit overblown. People are like, oh, um, I, I, oh, like the Jalen, now he's not going to resign. He's going to be upset because we paid, he said his, he, it wouldn't sit right with him if we paid Montez first. Okay. Well, Montez isn't the one requesting to be traded and making a big fuss about all this. It's just weird. Uh, J Jalen needs to act like a grown man. Like, I don't care, dude. Like, you'll get paid. Just relax. So we're still at a standstill with that. Hopefully the, the two sides will come together. But why is Jalen upset? Didn't it come out that he didn't want to negotiate for the rest of the year? What were we supposed to do? Just not extend Montez? Because Jalen, Jalen didn't want to. Jalen didn't even want to to have a contract done. He doesn't want to talk about extension anymore. Apparently, that that's what came out is that he doesn't want to talk about the contract anymore until after the season. So what were we supposed to do with Montez? Like, why like, just like? just not pay him because then then he'd be upset anyway it just makes no sense to me the whole Jalen Johnson saga is just exhausting but I'm glad we we paid Montez we trade for him we got him um yeah I, I I really like how this is shaped up um because if we didn't trade for him somebody else would have like people are like oh we would have gotten him in free agency he would have been a free agent anyway we could have gotten him for free no that's not how this works Teams are a lot smarter than that now. There's a reason big free agents like that just don't hit the market anymore. Because teams know how to franchise tag and trade. Or they know midseason somebody else is going to trade for him. Atlanta would have traded for him. Whoever else was in the mix would have traded for him if we didn't. So to be like, oh, he was going to be a free agent anyway. We could have just signed him then. Isn't exactly the same thing. Because he also wouldn't have picked to come here. I was I I don't think he would have picked to come here. If you're a free agent, you got your pick of the litter. You're not going to choose the Bears. I mean, then we would have probably had to overpay even more anyway. But somebody else would have given him the 98 million dollar deal. So that's all I'm saying. But I'm just glad that.
we got this deal done really quick. He's going to stay in Chicago for a long time. And uh, yeah, just overall, great, great stuff. Keep it up. We face the Saints tomorrow. Uh, yikes. So video on that after that happens. Uh, see ya.